No, no, no. We're actually oh, going to be playing Halo Infinite, but... Oh. I have a little surprise for everyone. What's happening? Go ahead. Roll the tape. Oh, God. Here it is. Oh, God. Oh. He's so Can nervous. A little bit more about this map? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, there it is. Dude, oh. Both from the Look at that. That looks so uh, sick. I love it. Oh, I love the visuals on this. It looks so cool. How does this new map compare to the original one? It's pretty faithful. Uh, we have scaled the map to accommodate the new infinite uh, um, movement and, and stuff. Uh, we've done updated the weapon and equipment placements to make sure that. Oh, yeah, that's a different spot for OS. The new sandbox. Um, a couple of the ramps have been rotated to accommodate the slides that we have in Infinite. Oh, okay. Um, if you remember the fence from the original, um, the setting for this is actually now uh, a skyscraper, right? So we've removed the fence. So now the, oh. uh, there's opportunities for repulsor play to send people to their death. So that'll be That's cool. Um, you know, grapple shot be able to go around the outside possibly. Fun grapple plays. There we go, nice. Map. Grapple shots so, involved. You know, uh, where the overshield is, maybe some good sniper battles there. Uh, and then near the sword room, there's a drop down um, to go to the overshield, and there's some good good place for him. Yeah, they brought the drop down from Hill 4's version of the pit. The That's cool. I like that addition. The pit's one of my all time favorite maps. I'm it's super happy this is in the game. The, the, the difference the between progress, dev maps and forge uh, maps is know, like um, is basically out. negligible uh, at this point. Yeah, so first thing we got to do is launch Forge, and that's going to be part of the winter update uh, on November 8th. And then as soon as it's ready after that, we will release. Uh, did we, did he didn't even give us like an actual we'll date as after Forge launch. Uh, that's cool. I, I want to play you know, it now. Three. So yes, that is right. The pit is returning in Halo Infinite, but in a different way. As they said, they removed the fencing so they actually have some abilities to kind of go around the outside, maybe repulse people off the map like you saw right here with Elamai Olds getting thrown off the map. They have a grapple shot thrown there so you can maybe do some cool grapples around that side. I mean, there's some pretty cool outplay they should be able to do they properly scaled the map as well for halo infinite's movement so some parts that would normally be a crouch jump are now kind of clamber spots and things like that uh, but for the most part they said it's rather faithful to the actual release now i'm super bummed that it's not being able to be played right now i mean like the cat's out of the bag right now when it comes to forge content and people are finding ways to do it within the retail version to play custom games but I mean, we just have to wait until the actual release of Forge, which will be on November 8th, but it sounds like it'll be coming after that as well. So maybe sometime after the initial launch of it to kind of get some refresh and get people excited to bring that in. Now there has been rumors of also Narrows being remade. So I think there might be something involved with this, that there might be something that like, have like a Halo 3 map backpack playlist kind of thing or something like that. Uh, if they could just throw those maps in the matchmaking along with everything else, that would be really awesome. Now, now, I do know that one streamer who was making a Guardian remake, a very faithful re recreation of Guardian, and uh, he got contacted by 343 midstream. I just got a Twitter message from Unishek, a DM. He wants to talk Halo stuff. But I told you guys if this was going to happen, uh, I'd most likely have to go under uh, NDA. If you guys don't know what an NDA is, it's a non disclosure agreement, meaning. The stuff he tells me, I would not be able to tell anybody. NDA'd out of his mind. So we're gonna get like a playlist of some sorts that would be pretty awesome. Or just like a map pack, if you will, thrown in the matchmaking with like the pit, guardian and maybe narrows that would be really awesome it's something i would really be excited to play maybe have it happen like an update right before three for three goes on their winter break you know during uh, december at some time maybe that's the winter contingency event i don't know but it was super exciting to see that this is actually happening with halo but just like everything in halo infinite guys we just have to wait if you want to know some more things about Halo Infinite's Forge, check out this video right here. Or if you want to check out the top 10 things that are really cool about Forge, check out this video up here. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.